vote, the yeas are 50, the nays are 50. The Senate being equally divided, the vice president votes in the affirmative and the amendment is agreed to. Democrats breathing a little easier heading into the midterm elections after passing the Inflation Reduction Act. Contrary to its name, the bill tackles health care, taxes, and the environment. Democrats believe the changes will eventually bring down inflation. Anyone running for office around the country, which is every member of Congress, some members of the Senate, governors, now have a list of policies that they can go back to voters and say that Democrats have done this. Basil Smeichel is director of the public policy program at Hunter College. He says one way New Yorkers will save is through lower prescription drug costs. This is a decades-long effort um, that Democrats have been pushing, finally gets through in this bill. It is as momentous as the Affordable Care Act was at the, at the time. Smeichel says the bill will also increase taxes on large corporations and the wealthy, making room for more middle class savings. Tri state homeowners will be able to deduct more of their property taxes from their federal income taxes, saving thousands. In theory, what that suggests is that there'll be a little more money in the pockets of, of, of middle class uh, New Yorkers. In the next in the next couple of years and expect to pay less on your energy bill. The legislation works to reduce carbon emissions and incentivize companies like Con Ed to invest in renewables. Hopefully, um, as as these companies start to look at alternative energy sources, um, they will pass that savings on to 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 New Yorkers. But don't expect instant gratification. The savings will come gradually. When it's all said and done, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says this will amount to the biggest climate package in U.S. history. After more than a year of hard work, the Senate is making history. I am confident the Inflation Reduction Act will endure as one of the defining legislative feats of the 21st century.